the world is changing all around us. The climate changes daily. With all these changes and times of uncertainty, we need to adapt to better prepare for the unexpected. The answer could be right under our feet. Researchers at Kansas State University's agronomy department aren't looking to the heavens for the solution. Soil carbon sequestration is the process of transferring carbon dioxide from the atmosphere into the soil. In other words, the researchers are trying to find a way to allow the soil to hold more carbon from the atmosphere, which would allow crop growers to adapt rather than stop climate change. I'm looking at how climate change and management practices affect soil microbial communities. So um, the microorganisms that live in the soil are an important um, factor in determining how carbon is stored and sequestered and how the carbon turnover rate is. So by looking at how climate change and management uh, has the potential to impact uh, soil microbial communities, we can then infer what kinds of changes we're likely to see in the soil carbon sequestration potential of that soil. We are trying to find out uh, the best management practices to improve carbon sequestration and we, uh, we are trying to find what are the mechanisms uh, undergoing the, uh, be behind this carbon stabilization. The Earth's population keeps increasing significantly. In 1987, the population surpassed the 5 billion mark. In 1999, it reached 6 billion. In 2050, the population is expected to be over 9 billion people. The area isn't getting bigger, yet the population keeps growing. This is why soil adaptation is so important. What this research would provide the soil science community that the um, uh, provide information to uh, policymakers to um, really uh, um, come up with um, methods of um, doing, uh, giving carbon credits to farmers or giving incentive for farmers to practicing uh, these type of positive management practices which will help uh, to mitigate and also adapt to climate change.